Colonel Alejandro Vargas, the Special Forces. We're after a known terrorist. Gomez, hold up. These are her guys. <laughs> Hard to tell you boys apart from the cartel. Where's your suspect? Track the bullet out. What's happening, guys? It's James G, Next Level Gaming. You're tuned in to another episode of The Rundown and my review for the latest installment, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, let's jump right in. I'm going right into the campaign. Uh, I love the campaign in this out of, uh, you know, quite a few games in the past that I didn't really, you know, care too much for the campaign. But overall, Modern Warfare 2 campaign is fantastic. It kept me engaged for the short duration of the uh, of the campaign. I uh, love the cutscenes, love the story. There's a lot of action-packed moments. You're seeing some stuff here in the background that I'm showing you guys. I didn't want to do, you know, show too much of the game. I don't like to do that because I don't want to spoil some of the key moments in, uh, in some of these campaigns and some of these games for players that haven't played the campaign yet. But overall, I love the experience. It's a fun experience, fun ride. Uh, a lot of characters from the past that we all know and love and also some really really cool sequences and the graphics are just phenomenal in the story mode and of course even in multiplayer as well too but uh, they did a really good job of uh, bringing the story to life and just keeping players engaged for a short period of time like call of duty is known for for sure uh and what else is call of duty known for definitely their you know high fast-paced multiplayer so you're seeing some gameplay here throughout this review of uh you know my amazing kills in uh in call of duty but overall i love the feel of the uh sorry of yeah the campaign but also the multiplayer i love the weapon mechanics they have all these new mechanics in here love all the new weapons and, you know a lot of people were complaining about the whole leveling up system for your weapons and attachments i didn't mind it because it kind of you know made you want to you know you got to use different uh guns you got to use different variations of weapons to have fun with and just i know what they're doing here they want you to just to kind of experience the game a little bit more not just use the same gun and cheese out all the time so i really like what they've done there with uh with the attachment system and the leveling up system for your weapons because i was able to use quite a bit of uh different weapons and you're able to kind of pinpoint which weapons you want to you know use and and which weapons you want to have in your uh, custom classes uh the maps are great you're seeing a really uh, awesome map right here in terms of uh, you know a different like it's an open it's a more open map some sniper maps you've got the you know those sniper maps for the snipers of course you got those campy kind of maps with all those cheesy campers out there but uh, overall the multiplayer you know it plays well it's very fluid i know there was a couple of hiccups you know on day one and, and like a couple of days into some of the uh, party stuff and, and and like matching up with your friends and all that kind of stuff um a little bit of lag here and there but overall the game still plays well the mechanics are great the graphics are still fantastic very very fluid multiplayer and a lot of the weapons are amazing and like the mechanics i love like the reloads and inspections of the weapons all that kind of stuff so uh, call of duty definitely nailed it here on the multiplayer and not only are they doing well with just the base multiplayer and adding some new stuff like you saw shoot house there where i was just playing which recently launched about a week ago now you've got warzone out and now you've got dmc out that people are loving and just being able to level up and do all that kind of stuff in those game modes as well as the main game it's really cool that it's everything is all implemented in together and kind of like meshed together so they really nailed it uh, there if you're not down for like traditional multiplayer stuff there is uh, ground war massive you know big team battles uh, type thing that they've implemented here into this game but also the special ops if you want to do some campaign stuff with your buddies you're able to do that as well but i highly suggest jumping in and having some fun kill confirm deathmatch you know the classics domination all that stuff and i love shoot house like you're seeing gameplay here i just love that fast action just in your face you're dying every second but you're popping off a couple kills it's a lot of fun so they did a really good job of uh of the multiplayer they've done a really good job of course with warzone and dmz out so it's giving uh you know call of duty players a lot of different aspects to use or sorry to play uh with the uh, franchise and also with all the dlc coming out if you want to buy the battle pass all that kind of stuff it is available uh to you so no complaints from me and water uh, modern warfare 2 the game plays well the campaign is fantastic you're seeing some really you know cool uh, really cool clip right here from the opening uh sequence of the game that i love just blew me away when i popped the game in but overall campaign is awesome it's quick and easy and fun to play multiplayer is great you got dmz you got warzone you got all this stuff you can do in this call of duty kind of world it's a lot of fun so that's my review for call of duty modern warfare 2 it's a great game definitely pick it up all you cod fans out there it feels like a true next gen game that's it james g next level gaming slap that subscribe button we'll catch you guys in the next one cheers